Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, it's been a long time since the last video. And right now, I want to talk about uh, authentication. We're not going to be using the usual session based auth as we're not going to be uh, running our app with PHP. We're going to use uh, for the mobile app Ionic. And obviously, we, we can use anything from PHP directly. We're going to communicate through some APIs we're going to write. And for that, we are going to use JSON Web Tokens to do that for us. It's a really safe, uh, it's the best method out there right now, I think. And uh, it's really easy to implement thanks to this package called JWT Auth by Time and Designs. I'm not going to show in this video how to install this, you can just take a look at the week for that. It's really simple. I already have it installed, so I don't I didn't want to like pollute the video with stuff like that. And I also wrote some tests. I didn't want to take any time of the video writing tests. Let me remove all this. I have some routes. I have let me show you. A auth prefix, a namespace prefix. Oh, it's sorry, a, a auth namespace prefix. And uh, for the name, we also have api.auth for our route's name. And we have a login route, a register route. This, this code is available at GitHub, so you can always take a look. I already have a test for this. Let me show you, give you guys a quick overview. So, there are a few things we should be concerned about with so the first of all let me just make this a <laughs> lower case okay this is going to be for later anyway we have a test saying the login should return a token when it receives valid credentials okay that makes sense whenever we send the right the right password the right email we should receive a token so we just create a user and user sorry we s we uh, uh, like uh, we pass a password so we can know the password to make the push request later then we just make a push request to our login route we pass the user's email Whoops. we pass the user's password and we, sp we expect to see a 300 response and see a token a a a a and see uh, a token property in, uh, in our JSON so we just want to see this token we don't know how it looks like we just want to see it um, then we have login should return an error when it receives invalid credentials this is really uh, obvious if I type a wrong password something like that which should receive an error then we are using fake data and try to trying to make this pull request we should receive a 42 error and then see this JSON error user not found we have a register returns a token if email does not exist obviously if we create an, an account with an email that's, that does not exist in the database we should receive a token the account should be created and then we should receive a token then we, yeah basically the same as, as the login we're just passing more info here we're passing the name too and register returns an error if email already exists that's obvious too if there's a where there's uh, an email already we shouldn't uh, be able to create it so let's do this the first thing we gotta do is create a controller so make controller api auth auth controller okay let me create another panel here Oh, I forgot I don't have hotkeys for that. I changed PC, so um, let me just remove this. If we go to API auth controller, we need two methods. So first of all, we need a uh, login, and we need register. Let's just return some an empty array, like foo, to show you guys something. If we run our tests, um, we can we could we could not assert that an array has the key token. That's because what Laravel is doing is converting the response to an array and then checking if the array has uh, 
the 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 key we specified. So if it has the key token, it does not. So we fail to assert that the ray has the key token. Sometimes we fail, we fail to assert that uh, we are getting forty two because we are always getting two hundred with this DOM solution. So if there's an error, we should get a forty two. And it's just so you guys can see it. So let's implement this. We already have our tests. Let's do this. So if we go to the creating tokens page, there's some uh, boilerplate code. We can see this. Let's just copy this and make a, a few changes. So the code itself is really simple. First, first of all, let's pass. Let's uh, inject a request. Here. So what do we have? Um, first of all, we are just getting two uh, fields, two yeah, two fields to the login method. We are just getting the email and the password. That's all we need, and we are storing it in this variable. And then we are using a try catch block. In the try, we look if there's a if we can, okay, let me explain this better. JW2Auth has a method called attempt that does all this magic for us. It tries to log a user with some credentials. So we just need to pass an array with some email and, and the password. That's why we do this. However, however, if uh, we were receiving different names for the fields from the front end we would have to uh, change them we have to do like some uh, something like uh, email I don't know we could do something I think it's input no it's request something like uh, whatever it was called but uh, as we're getting mail and password it's fine and just remember this returns an array with email and password each one being the key and its values being what uh, we received so first of all we try we attempt to log in a user so if we could not do this not attempt first of all we are already uh, putting it in a variable we're going to use this later but uh, if we could not do this we just return a response saying invalid credentials and a 401 error. In our tests, we wanted to return a 42 user not found. So let's change this. User not found, 42. Okay, it's fine. If we catch the exception, instead of throwing it, we're just going to return a, a JSON saying error, we could not create a token. And as this is a, an internal error, we should uh, send a 500. A five hundred code, H two P code, and if if we pass this this block, the this try catch block, and this condition, we're just going to return the token. For anyone who is curious, compact only uh, returns the variable name as a key and its value as, um, I'm sorry, and its value as uh, as a property. So, uh, if we did something like if we first of all if we said that foo equals bar and then we just we did something like foo we we would receive foo bar okay if we call this best we would get best so we're just returning the token and the token's value so this is good this is going to work let's try this let's just run php unit and it didn't work. Why? Let's see. And we couldn't find the GWTF auth class, so let's just import it. We we'll also have to import this. Okay, let's see. Now we are it's passing. We're just having issues in the register method. Um argument two blah blah blah. Okay. And we're not returning anything, so there's no there's not not even a <laughs> A, an array for Laravel to 
to analyze to see if this if there is the token key and right here we're getting a 200 even before analyzing the the JSON which should receive a 42 so let's implement this so the first condition we can see is that if there are, if there's a user uh, with uh, if we we are trying to use a an email that already exists, we should just re, uh, return the emails already be used ever. So the first thing we gotta do is this. Let me just eject this, and let's say again the credentials equals only email password and of course the name. Let me just add the name. So let's just say something like uh, if user find by email and we can pass the credentials or even just the email something like that. Let's track this to a variable. Okay, if this returns through or whatever, if there is a user, a user with this email, you just return a JSON saying, I think it was emails already in BS. And a 42 response code. You may be asking yourself, what is this find by email method? I'm going to show you right away. We're going to create this and also create a test for this. So um, then if this passed, it means uh, there's no user with these credentials. So we can just create a user. We, ca we could uh, just create a user here or we can call, I don't know, a protected method. I think this is better. So let's do something like uh, <laughs> sorry, function create user credentials. So here, if we wanted, we could manipulate some data, but uh, we don't really want to. So we can just say uh, it's going to return user create um, name being credentials name having credentials email and here in the password we need to hash this so let's just pass a big crit credentials password and we are all done so if this passes we just need to return the token right so we need to create a user so we're gonna call this create user then we we should pass the credentials and now we just need to return something like a token okay if we go to the docu documentation we have this method right here from user we can create a a token based on a on a, a new an user instance so we just have to say from user user as we have this freshly created user instance and we can just return response JSON and compact this. This is it. It's done. So it's going to fail because of this method. Let me show you. Um, call to undefined method, find by email. So let's write a test for this. How can we do a test for this? It's really simple. Let's do a really, really simple test. Let's create a user test. Um, so you can just say use database migrations whoops and then you can say uh, find by email should find an user by its email something really simple like this and how can we do this test let's just create a bunch of users <laughs> like let's pretend I don't I don't care create then let's loop through each of them um, this is a collection method. We pass a closure with the item, um, like the loop, the the um, the item we are at the the each, 
it's the same as doing something like uh, I'm sorry for each user as user this item is the same as user I'm not sure why I <laughs> I wrote item but anyway so and we're just going to make a simple assertion first of all let's see the found user is the user find by email the current loop user and we just want to make sure they are the same user so we can just say equals the username and that their emails are the same too can even do this for the password really really simple test we can do this a better way probably but uh, let's keep this for later so let's run this test separately let's filter and it's failing we don't have this method yet so let's go to the user model and create this method how can we do this we can just say whoops public static method function sorry find by email will accept a credentials parameter or I'm sorry it's it's a it's an email parameter I'm pretty sure let's see yeah it's an email it's not a credential it's not okay so we can just return self where email equals email first so this is just going to return false if no one if no records found let's run this now and it's passing we don't need to generate this many users let's just skip to three and it's still passing so right now if we run the if we're everything it's everything passes and we created two tests one for the user method and one for our controller so we have our controller tested on um, we we are sure nothing not no 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 errors are going to happen and that's it we just tested our authentication controller really really simple so let's say someone messes up while uh, I don't know editing your code and doesn't notice so I don't know if uh, he changes this he did does this it's failing let's say he uh, I don't know he suddenly removes this block it's failing so <laughs> that's it um, really really simple stuff I hope I helped you guys in some way I'm not sure if I if I did um, there are better ways to write this code uh, but uh, this this is going to this is going to be discussed later and uh, I really hoped I, I hoped you guys so I helped you guys sorry <laughs> and if anything just ping me on Twitter or I don't know whatever Facebook Twitter uh, github whatever works for you so thanks all and have a good night or <laughs> or day or or afternoon thanks bye